Hi everyone, my name is Amy Storbeck. Hey guys, Aaron Storbeck. And this is Conrad. And we are the Storbeck doTERRA Diamonds. And we are here to talk to you about the doTERRA business opportunity. And it's something that we know very well because we lived it and walked it out. So we're here to just share with you from our own experience um, the amazingness of this doTERRA opportunity. So let me share my screen. I'm going to go here. You might hear kids in the background. That's just the way. Definitely might hear kids, yeah. And Aaron is on standby. So That's right, dad's on duty over here. <laughs> I mean, I could be on standby too. Okay. Hopefully you can, it's loading. It's, right. Yes, it's the doTERRA biz opportunity. Live a life of true purpose. So the reason why I love this picture is because I also have been in a picture just like this. And I was the white face. <laughs> and, um, and actually, Emily has some really great strength. She has a belief strength and I have it too. And I think that's why we believe that people have great value. And, and so that's why we do what we do. And so that's why I love the heart of this company because it's all about people. So, um, so we're just going to tell us. our story. Yeah, it's us. Um, so you wanted to go ahead and tell our story? Yeah. So we can kind of up tell it about, what four four and a half years ago now yeah um we well, no, almost five almost five years now yeah June, June we were introduced to uh the doTERRA essential oils and um yeah basically just had some amazing results with the oils unexpected results really um and uh it just really revolutionized the way that we approached our health and our family's health and um yeah I think it all just started with trust you know um I trusted Amy and she was very adamant about us you know giving us a try so we did and when we did um you know my health changed um just drastically um and Amy's health changed and so that really just led us onto a journey of just becoming well ourselves for a couple of years and um and also yeah. just changing the way we managed our health because really looking back I thought I was a super healthy person I really did mm -hmm. I considered myself healthy um you know I wasn't on any major medications but I was on over-the-counter medications quite a bit um and so it really it was a journey to detoxify our lives too we didn't know it at the time and we didn't know how much we truly needed it until we got these oils in our home and we started using them and they would work just one thing after the other. It was almost like we were trying them out, you know, like, Oh, I wonder if it'll work for this. Yeah. It's exciting <laughs> and it's new and completely different than the way that, you know, we were both brought up. And so um, that being said, we, you know, then move to beyond just the intrigue and ex and just like discovery to um, becoming really well-rounded oil users and um, just integrating it into pretty much every aspect of our lives. Um, yeah, and then I guess we could just move on to how we became interested in the business in the first place. Yeah. So I think it was just natural, Amy loves to help people like she was talking about earlier just having um a heart for people and a strong belief um in something and just um a desire to share something good with other people um and so it was hard to contain the health um you know successes that we'd had and victories and so we just naturally were telling people about it um and had some friends and family who were interested and also started using the oils and just kind of slowly grew from there as far as just kind of a sharing thing. Um, and then I had a good friend, um, Drew Kiesel, 
um, and his wife, Gina, but Drew specifically and I had gone on a surf trip with uh, some friends and uh, mm-hmm. Drew. We had been using the oils for a while at that, maybe we'd a, been year, using them. a year and a half. Yeah, we'd been using them for, for you know, a short while and Drew kind of just decided, you know, to walk away from his job at this point in time and do doTERRA full time with his wife, Gina. And so he kind of just revealed that to me and some of the other guys on the trip. And that blew my mind. I mean, that was something where I just, I, I knew the oils were great. I knew the supplements were amazing and had changed my life. Um, but I did not see the financial side of doTERRA as something that would be equally as, um, you know, freeing and life changing. And it really is. And so when Drew, you know, shared that they had taken that leap and decided to do this full time as a business, we got a smiley little guy over here. <laughs> Love him. And um, so our little mascot over here, but um, you know, that, that, that opened my eyes and I was like, Hey, I'm going home. I'm talking to Amy about this. And um, because we didn't really understand that you could make a six figure income from no, home. No idea. <laughs> We didn't know that that we could replace an income mm-hmm. and come home. And both of us are very hardworking people, but um, you yeah. Know, what were you doing at the time? Yeah, I mean, I I had gone to school and gotten a degree in geology. Um, Amy had gone to school and gotten a degree in nursing, and we were both, um, you know, having some some success in those fields, but nothing compared to the time freedom and the financial success that we've had with doTERRA as far as, and and let alone just um, being in such a um, fulfilling business, you know, something that has such an amazing purpose and something that has such a great value to to just share with people and to, you know, when you're, when you're selling this product, it's not just like an empty sale. Like you're, you're actually giving someone a, real gift that is going to change their life forever. And in my opinion, I mean, and so, yeah, yeah, that's, that's the way that, you know, I see this business and it's been, it's been an incredibly, um, it's, it's been a growing experience and it's been just an incredible experience. And that's why we want to have this, this, um, you know, webinar where we talk with you guys about that and share our story with you guys. Um, yeah, and and just um, on some of the just you know facts about our journey. So we actually, when we started building the business, I think we were at the rank of executive or or elite. Um, and I remember meeting a premier. If you if you go and and look at the compensation plan, you'll you'll know. Um, but and I was so amazed at at how you know how did she do it? How did she get to the level of premier? And, um, and little did I know that at that business class that we went to after Aaron went on that surf trip, um, that 17 months later, we would hit the rank of diamond. And I, I mean, that, that really, it, it, of course, did not first enter my mind, but when we had decided to do that, we had decided and and we really gave it everything we got we we really treated it as as it is a true business um we did not treat it as a hobby um and and so that really is is what where i think our success lied in that um we gave it you know time energy mm-hmm. everything yeah sacrifices and, and there's i mean yeah it is sacrifice and it is a real business and it takes real work um, just like any business would, but we, yeah, it's, it's just so like much any better. business, except there's so many, um, you know, benefits to it. So, I mean, I guess we can go into some of the ins and outs of why, yeah. um, why doTERRA, why is it such a great, yeah. yeah. So what's the big problem in the world today is the question I have for you guys. And you can kind of think about that for a little bit and this is a problem. 
So that picture is horrifying. But for the first time in two centuries, the current generation of children in America actually have a shorter life expectancy than their parents. And so one in three children are now considered obese. And um, what this is, is this isn't actually the problem. The problem, this is a symptom of the problem. The problem is, is that we are not taught in healthcare professional world, which is where I came from, or just growing up in our culture about a, a vitality and preventative lifestyle where you can live that life and have a, vi a life full of vitality. You can have that for your whole life. You don't have to just grow old and have things like diabetes and joint problems and apnea and you know all kinds of uh, mental issues that really, you know, there's something to be said about going back to the basics of what we put in our bodies and on our bodies. So unhealthy lifestyle is the leading cause of death. Um, that just means that the simple choices we make day in and day out, what am I going to eat today? Oh, I have a headache. What am I going to do for that today? Um, you know, mm -hmm. what, how we address our health, um, that is the leading cause of death. And then prescription drugs are killing people. These are serious. These are equivalent to the drugs that people take recreationally on the streets. Um, an average medication has about uh, 70 side effects is the average per medication. And Yeah, and I think it's really, I mean, this is so fitting for what's going on today. I mean, I know here in Texas right now, there's a major lawsuit going on against pharmaceutical companies for their misrepresentation and false advertising uh, for, you know, opiates that are being prescribed. And, you know, people are finally waking up to this, you know, and so we are a part of that. We're a part of this. I mean, it's, there are now, you know, lawmakers out there who are saying that this is wrong. And it's only a matter of time before people are going to be in mass looking for alternatives because these drugs that have been peddled to, um, yeah, I might have to run to the kids here. Um, but these, you know, drugs that are being peddled, uh, you know, and with false advertising, they may not be on the market for long, you know? So, um, and that's a good thing. So, yeah, I mean, this is, this is, um, it is, it is a need and yeah, it's a growing problem. So. And I'll, yeah, you're gonna go. okay. He's going to excuse himself. Um, so polypharmacy is actually something I was taught when I was in school um, and when I was in nursing school. And then as a nurse, I saw patients at the end of their lives, which they were in their 60s and 70s. OK. And honestly, that's too young. I mean, that's too young. Um, but they were on like average, like 25 medications. So how can you even tell what's what's a, what's a sign and symptom or what is a side effect? You can't. Not to mention, oh, and these graphics are got moved around. Oh well, um, there are toxic chemicals that are in pretty much every single thing, a product that we use in our home. So go to your bathroom and look at the back of your shampoo or body wash. And tell me if it has SLS in it. And it most likely does. And this is a horrible toxin. Here, go find daddy. This is a horrible toxin that um, actually causes some serious um, endocrine issues. Um, and then a lot of the toxins in our home cause skin allergies, cancer, infertility, birth defects, reproductive problems, learning disabilities. Um, And let's see here. Oh, one in six dollars is spent on health care. So, you know, it's important to people. Health care is so important. People are spending money on their health care. And so, you know, if, if you're sitting here thinking, well, if I'm if I'm going to do this as a business, are people interested in purchasing what I'm selling? Well, actually, they are because it's it's a way to manage their health care and we are in the healthcare industry and so people are spending money every day on their health 
And actually um, for our starter kits and what they can do, they're really negligible compared to what you are going to um, purchase a pharmaceutical or a skin cream. I mean, those are hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Um, and then we can get into insurance and then it gets crazy. Insurance or no insurance and what, what that will cover. Um, so there has never been a greater time to lead people to a healthy lifestyle and a sense of purpose. She's right out there. She's rushing. Go around. So it's really such a perfect time um, for you to, to start building the business. So the potential of doTERRA. So doTERRA um, has solid owners with over 150 years of collective experience. And what that means is they've had experience in multi-level marketing, they've had experience in business, finance, and also essential oils. Um, and, and so it's amazing. And these, I know a lot of these um, owners personally, and we had dinner with um, Corey Lindley, our CFO, the other night. And, and, you know, they're amazing people. They're good family people. And they also are smart. They've had um, a lot of experience. So you want to make sure that the company that you're building with has a solid, uh, you know, leadership, has solid leadership. We started without investors, and we're the largest essential oil company. And we have six, over 6 million people purchasing the essential oils worldwide. Um, we're also the largest network marketing company in the United States. I don't know if you knew that. Um, so also, we are a billion dollar company and we hit that mark faster than Apple. So um, that is actually a true statement. And a lot of people were saying, no, I looked it up and they didn't. And there's only a few less, small list of companies that hit faster than Apple. Well, um, when you're looking on Forbes, you'll notice that they're only talking about publicly traded companies. This is a privately held company and they will not publicly trade this company because then therein lies the quality standard. And, and if that was to happen, the quality standard could be compromised. So the owners want to keep it privately held. Um, and we're in the healthcare market. That's the product. It's consumable. People need more of it. Um, it becomes a part of their lifestyle. They're, they're changing out pharmaceuticals or um, over-the-counter medications. They're cleaning products. It's becoming a part of their lifestyle. So it actually, um, a lot of their just grocery budget just starts going um, to their doTERRA order because you're not going on the cleaning aisle or to the over-the-counter section. And it does require education. So that's another thing. Um, you are needed in this network marketing business. You're not just reaching out to people to see if they're ready to purchase something. You're actually legitimately able to help them use the oils they have in their home or address new and upcoming health issues for themselves. Network marketing. I was just talking about this today on my live Q and A. Um, why multi-level marketing is a superior business model. So it's a built-in business model. There's product sourcing, billing, order fulfillment, all of that is taken care of with doTERRA. And that's great because the average startup cost for a business is $60,000 today. And a franchise is anywhere from a quarter to a million. Um, and so for the average person, those are really unattainable numbers, at least for a, a large part of their life. So um, this is great that we don't have to um, put that type of investment forward, but we can still make a profit quicker than someone who would be starting a traditional business. Um, also, we have a built-in education system. So there's no costly education and um, forget about having to get a student loan to become a network marketing professional. You can actually make more money. <laughs> and you don't have to go into debt for it and get a bunch of student loans. The entry cost of the products for your own house and, and your level of commitment is what you get to, to purchase with doTERRA. Um, so you, you purchase every month what you would like for yourself or what you would like to turn around and sell. So um, we end up just purchasing mostly for just ourselves every month. Um, and that qualifies us for a business and for commissions. 
So um, there's five key elements you want to look at for each network marketing company, leadership, financial stability, industry, product, and compensation plan. Um, I kind of hit on all of these um, in the last slide. Um, we talked about the leadership. We talked about how we started, um, or maybe we did. We started debt-free and with no outside investors. That is unheard of in any business, really. Um, we are in the healthcare industry, which we already spoke about and how relevant that is for people and how important that is. And, and then the product is um, something that is consumable. So we talked about that and the compensation plan. Did you know that not all compensation plans and how companies pay you are created equal? So actually, um, a lot of companies um, today, they actually, they will take out from underneath you someone that outranks you in a network marketing company. So what that means is if someone outranks you in doTERRA or in another company, um, then they actually can take that person out from underneath you or make it so that you aren't receiving all of the commissions that you would be due. Um, and so there's some really sneaky things that companies put in compensation plans. And I love that doTERRA's is really straightforward. And um, what's really great is we have something called dynamic compression. And um, dynamic compression is where um, in some cases, you can actually get paid down 14 levels of customers, okay, which is unheard of in the industry. And um, that just means that you're getting paid more for the work that you're actually doing. So doTERRA likes to reward leadership. Um, so that's why um, people that are committed to this business are the ones that end up making the most money. Um, and in a lot of multi-level marketing companies, they want people to make a quick, quick, big cash. So they spend a lot of their, um, a lot of, you know, budget that they have for the marketing, right? Um, they spend a lot of it on paying people up front that are kind of flash in the pan. Like I want to make, you know, this much money this month. I want to, you know, they're just, they're in it, not for the long haul, or really for the customer care and, and you know, the business, they're really in it just to make some quick cash. Um, and so doTERRA is not that way. So it's actually a backloaded compensation plan. And that means that you um, will be rewarded exponentially for continuing to share the products as opposed to being rewarded for your first few months and it kind of starts to taper off. The Rise of the Entrepreneur will answer all of your questions about um, doTERRA and um, not doTERRA, but the multi-level marketing model that doTERRA has. If you are sitting here and you're like, well, I heard that network marketing or multi-level marketing is a pyramid scheme. Well, it's not true. Um, you know, corporate America is a pyramid and pyramid schemes are real and they're illegal. Um, but if you have any questions about whether multi-level marketing is a legitimate business opportunity, then please watch this and it will really just kind of blow your mind. So the richest people in the world look for and build networks. Everyone else looks for a job, a J-O-B, right? Just over broke job. Um, that's Robert Kiyosaki, and um, he is the author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, which is a phenomenal book. And um, it's true. In this business, one of the kickers, okay, is that you are building a network, okay, which when you have a network, you can do all sorts of businesses with that network. You're not tied to um, making money in just one way. And let's chat retirement. So um, the average retirement amount is $49,000 when they reach retirement age. That means that the average person has about $49,000 to retire on. That means <laughs> that 
you have about maybe less, really less than a year's wages for most people. Um, or just a year's wages. Maybe you made made forty nine thousand dollars a year, um, but you're retiring and you have about a year to to live, and then you have to figure out what you're going to do after that, or you ha or you hope that you're only going to last a year. I mean, that's horrible, right? Um, so people really aren't retiring with true retirement accounts, um, and then the medium retirement amount is about two thousand dollars. That means that the average person is usually somewhere they, they retire and they have about $2,000 to their name. So we did some numbers here and you can get a calculator and do this if you wanna take a screenshot of this, but there is truly a two to four year retirement plan. So getting to the rank of silver, which is, takes an average of 12 months, it's like having a million dollars in your retirement fund earning 2.5% and that would yield you about $2,000 a month. So say you want to have the equivalent of having a retirement account with a million in it, then you work for 12 months and you get to the rank of silver. And yeah, you have that same amount coming in every month. And most of that, as if not all of it over time, um, will be residual. Okay. All right. And then the same goes for gold. Gold is a rank that takes about 27 months to achieve. And on average, so some people get there faster and some people um, take their time. But it's like having $2 million in a retirement account, yielding about $4,100 a month. And same thing, platinum is like having $4 million in a retirement account, diamonds, 8 million, blue diamonds, 20 million, and presidential is the equivalent of having 50 million in a retirement account and collecting interest every month. Um, so yeah, let's go for presidential. That's, <laughs> why not, right? Okay, this is a really fuzzy slide, but um, network marketing brings in $178 billion every year. And this is kind of an old slide, 2013. Okay, it's bringing in way more. But look how much the music industry is bringing in. $15 billion. The NFL, $9.5 billion. Um, um, yeah. So say your dream is to be an NFL star and make millions or to be the next... Katy Perry and, you know, or be a movie star. Well, the average movie star makes like $45,000 a year. Okay. Um, the average, you know, it's like the top 0 0.001 that make the millions, right? But really the movie industry only brings in 88 billion. So you can have a much larger piece of the pie within network marketing because face-to-face -face marketing, hey, I use this deodorant, it really works. What's gonna happen? The other person's gonna go out and buy the deodorant. It's face-to-face -face, um, networking or marketing, and it works. It's the, it's the top way to market your product. Um, so how do you choose to earn? That's what you need to think about. So where are you in this quadrant? Are you an employee? You have a J-O-B. Are you self-employed, which means you, oh, which means you own a job. Uh oh. Let's see if I can go back. Hmm. I don't know if I can go back. That's really weird. Why can't I go back? Hmm. Okay. So you can be self-employed where you own a job um, and, or you can go to the other side of the quadrant where you're a business owner and you own a system and that's where 95% of wealth is found. Or you can be an investor and you just have money make you more money. So what's really great is that I am not an employee in my doTERRA business. I don't have to answer to anyone. I am not self-employed. I don't own a job. 
um, where I am literally, basically my employees, I am working for them, right? To, woo, that sounds difficult. Um, I'm working for them to keep the business going and pay, you know, pay their in, the invoices and pay their salary or whatever it is. Um, and then um, I own just me going out and doing the job or you have a, you're a business owner and most people would say, oh, I want to be a business owner. I want to be an investor, but how do you get there? Right. And so um, the average person doesn't have money a ton of money they can just that just they have to invest or they don't have the knowledge and, and know how to do that and what's great is doTERRA is a self-development company it's packaged in an essential oils company so you do learn how to be a business owner and create systems you do learn how to be an investor and to invest your money you do will end up having money to invest so it's and oh, most of it's residual so it's really fantastic so let me talk to you about that residual aspect. So there's there's two types of people. There's people who are hauling buckets, or there are people who are digging in a pipeline and taking from a pipeline. So here's the story. There was a man who saw a guy, he was looking for a job. He saw a guy bringing buckets of water to the town nearby. And he thought, wow, that guy gets paid. <laughs> Aaron, can you come get Conrad? He's being real sweet. He's just doing the bu bubbles and horse lips. Um, okay, so there was a man and he saw this guy bringing water to the nearby village and getting paid. And every time he brought a bucket of water, he got paid. And, um, and then one day he had this idea. What if I... Um, uh, during the day, I haul buckets enough to feed my family and pay for what we need. But then in the evenings, I spend time digging a pipeline from the water source to the nearby town. And what happens is it took him about maybe two or three years to dig that pipeline. And everyone would say, man, I'm hauling way more buckets. I'm making so much more money than you. And what are you doing wasting your time building this silly pipeline? But at the end of three years... He turned on the spigot and out came a flowing source of income for him and his family. And it was not connected to his time. It wasn't connected to how many buckets of water he could, he could hurry and, and, and uh, do in a day um, or how much water he could haul. He had a residual income, an income that came from work that he had done in the past. And it was not... Um, it didn't matter the time he was spending. So are you hauling buckets or are you building a pipeline? And actually, what's interesting is even if you are a lawyer or a physician, you're still hauling buckets. They're just larger buckets, right? And if something happens to you, where will you be in a year? Say you can't practice, right? Where will that person be in a year? Okay, why make doTERRA your pipeline? So there's unlimited earning potential. Um, you can literally build two presidential diamond making about a million a year, 1.2 a year, and you can build another organization and make and just have double of yourself and triple of yourself. So you can build a presidential diamond as many times as you would like. So unlimited. Um, the average person takes about six to eight years to build a presidential, but come on, come on, so worth it. You're going to work at your just over broke job for six to eight years anyway, okay? Um, okay, so high retention rate. So in doTERRA, we have a retention rate that is just out of this world, and it is, it is, 70%, that means that the person that enrolls in your business, that 70% of them are going to come back and purchase again within um, that next three months. The industry average is between 8 and 15%, meaning that 8 to 15% of people will come back and purchase 
in a three month time period. So that's really great because if you're building a business, you wanna make sure that your customers are gonna stick around because that's your residual income. If they're not gonna stick around, it's not gonna become a lifestyle choice for them, then you're going to be hustling forever. Just saying. Um, you're never gonna be able to stop. Okay, it won't truly become residual because everyone's dropping off as fast as your, it's like your buckets of water that you know, your, your pipe has a bunch of holes in it and it's just coming out the sides and not good. Um, product sales are independent of the opportunity, meaning most network marketing companies, you have to lead with the business. I like to lead with the business now because I've seen it work for me, so I don't mind doing both. But, but that's really difficult. If your product is mediocre or just a luxury product, you have to lead and say, hey, will you do this business with me? Um, versus, hey, I have this product that's really amazing and can really change the way that you manage your healthcare and really change your life and your health, right? So we get to lead with the product as opposed to leading with the business with people. And that takes a huge load off because not everyone is going to want to build a network marketing business. And not everyone, even though I think that they should to some capacity because they're going to have residuals from that. Um, but not everyone will or want to, but if you help them use the product, 70% of people um, will be reordering from you and making this a, a lifestyle choice. Um, we, there are only one, it's, this is a new opportunity, this is the next point. Um, this is a new opportunity because um, I just found out that only 1% of people in Texas are actually enrolled in doTERRA. And that blows my mind. But it's so new, we're on the, it's, it's everything's new, so we're on the upswing of it. And it's stable and reliable as an opportunity. We have seven owners and they have a pact that if any of them tries to go rogue or change the quality or anything about what they've agreed upon, that, um, that they're out. So there's accountability, it's not one owner that can take the company into all kinds of crazy directions. Network marketing is the big wave of the future. It's taking the place of franchising, which now requires too much capital for the average person. Jim Rohn. So this is doTERRA's retention uh, rate up at the top. It was published as 67% for every three months and 80% for people purchasing every 12 months. That's phenomenal. Um, that blows other companies. So the numbers that other companies are looking at is 8% and 15%. So 8% every three months and 15% every 12 months. So that means that you have a really stable opportunity to build something truly residual. Um, do you see the two red numbers circled in red at the bottom? This is the difference between us as a back-loaded compensation plan versus a top-heavy compensation plan. Do you see how on the top of the other company, you'll make $31 and on top of ours, top line, you'll make $9? Well, that's because there's three people on your top line to build the structure to rank. So we get paid in doTERRA Deep, more as the organization goes deeper. So what does that mean? That means that if you're below me in my organization and we mutually know the same group of people, I'm gonna make more money residually from you enrolling them and me helping you enroll them if you're building a business. Then if I enroll them and how it's in competition with you and tried to put them on all my top line and not under you, well, that really screws me over because um, uh, I don't have someone to help me with all those people on my top line because I, I was trying to make more money and I didn't put the people under you, right? And so it makes sense, right, to, to put everyone on your top line if you're making the most amount of money on your top line, right? But then as far as sustainability in the future, it does not work out well. 
So here's the ranks, um, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, blue, and presidential. And you can see the average monthly earnings there, the average annual earnings, and the percentage of leaders. So this is not the percentage of any, everyone who enrolls in doTERRA. This is the percentage of people that are silver and above. So Aaron and I, like we had said, hit the rank of diamond 17 months after um, we had gone to that business meeting. So um, it's so possible and it's so doable to build to these leadership ranks. And we actually have systems that work really well. Um, there's one system called Empowered Success. And then also um, connecting with your upline who is actively building, whether that's me or, or someone else, be persistent and reach up to someone who will actually help you. Um, and then if you notice, the, the first rank of silver has three elites underneath them. And I was the rank of elite, executive or elite, somewhere around there, between 2,000 and 3,000 um, dollars in sales that were being purchased underneath me. Um, and it was like family and close friends that I, that I had shared the oils with. Um, but elites make silvers and silvers make platinums and diamonds. So really, if you become really good at helping people hit the rank of elite, then you can build to presidential because presidential is just 54 elites. So why now? There, we're at the beginning. 50% um, of Americans have heard of essential oils. 8% of those have been exposed to doTERRA. So that's four out of 100 um, people that even know about doTERRA. And a lot of times I meet people that have purchased maybe from their doctor's office, but they've not, um, or their chiropractor, excuse me, um, or you know, maybe a friend here and there, or maybe they lost contact with their doTERRA person, and they're not actually enrolled. They don't have someone helping them. They don't really know, um, you know, why they're different or how to use them. So here's the saturation map. This is a few years old. Well, maybe a year or so, but it says there's 17 diamonds. Um, I think there's something like, in Texas, I think there's something like, maybe almost 30 now or 30 diamonds in Texas. Um, and there's 203 diamonds in the state of Utah. Does that, and Utah has like nothing of a population compared to Texas. I think you can fit the population of Utah in like one of the, like Houston or something, um, or Houston and Dallas or something. Um, so basically, it is such a new opportunity for Texas and for the United States in general. Utah isn't even saturated. Um, one of the best things about doTERRA is the loyalty rewards program. If you're watching this and you do not currently utilize the loyalty rewards program, please Google loyalty rewards program and watch the video. This is the foundation of, of consistent health change. And also this is the foundation of your residual income. So um, what's really great is that I was on the loyalty rewards program for a year and a half before I decided to do this as a legitimate business, okay? And what I was doing was I would get a free frankincense every six months at first, now every three months or so, because that was an oil that I really needed for my health at the time. Here, hold on one second. I'm gonna pass off Conrad to Aaron. All right, sorry about that. See, if I can do it, you can do it, right? Okay, so 
this is the foundation of your business. Um, it's really the foundation of having consistent change in your health because it makes getting the products more affordable. You can get them up to 55% off of the products. And also um, you, you get uh, points back, which are product points on every purchase that you, that you do. So everything becomes more affordable, more easy to purchase, and, um, and you stay consistent that way. You don't run out of all of your oils because every month you're looking at what you have and then you get to place your loyalty rewards order and you're a loyal customer and you get treated so amazingly. It's kind of like you're walking out of the grocery store and you're a loyal customer at the grocery store, right? Like we all are at our, at our grocery store here, our, our home. And they say, hey, you're loyal. You know, oh, you bought $200 today? Here, here's a, here's a gift card um, for $40. For you to come back and get whatever you need. If they did that every time you left the grocery store, would you not be like, what? What is going on here? That's what doTERRA does. Every time you place your loyalty rewards order, they say thank you and they give you between 10 and 30% back in cash to buy more of what you just bought. It's amazing. So after all of this information, your time is limited. So don't waste it living someone else's life. Um, you know, time is now, right? If we wait, there's so many times, right, that we're, oh, we're going to go get that gym membership. Oh, we're going to go do that. Oh, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. And it just never happens. Um, so take one action tonight write something down, text someone, call someone, um, text me, call me or, uh, you know, and if I'm not available, I will, you know, get back to you when I am, but I'm saying do something, some sort of action, call someone, tell them that you're starting your doTERRA business. Um, and, and don't wait to do that. Um, because if you wait, it might, it may never happen because our enthusiasm has a half-life. You're enthusiastic because you know right now that this is what you're supposed to do, right? But then when you wake up tomorrow or let the day go by, you know, stuff happens, life happens, and you're going to turn around and say, just forget about it or, oh, that's, that was nice, but probably maybe it really wasn't for me, but I'm telling you. If you're sitting here thinking, man, this is something I need to do or I can do, then you should do it. And because that's exactly how I felt when I heard all of this information for the first time. Um, so reach out to whoever invited you to this webinar. And if you would like to learn more, let's connect. Um, okay. And first thing, do you even have essential oils? If you don't have essential oils and you don't have anyone helping you with doTERRA, please reach out because we have exclusive team perks called Oil Camp to help you utilize the essential oils to their fullest for your health goals. It's a personalized program and it builds community. We all get to know each other in Oil Camp. We're in all the videos teaching you how to use your kit. Um, so get with me to help um, you get started with using the essential oils. I will do a free short health appointment for you um, if you are choosing to um, get in with our team. And then um, we do have business launching and training available on my exclusive and private team page, Diamond Vibe Tribe. And we also, I have public coaching. If you are not on my team, that's totally cool. I love Crossline friends and chicas. Um, so I do public, uh, oily, healthy lifestyle and business coaching on the Blunt Brunette Facebook page and the Blunt Brunette at the dot blunt dot brunette Instagram. So I do that every Thursday night, 730. Um, you guys are awesome and that's pretty much it. So I hope that this finds you well and that you're inspired to truly take action towards your dreams. You guys have an amazing night.